Okay, so quick demo with a scope connected to the two control wires on here. So one's controlled on the left, bottom one's controlled in the left device, top one's on the control of the right device. And you can see on the scope that the two waveforms are the, the, the two halves of the waveform. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the yellow trace is the left hand one, the blue trace, the blue trace is the right hand one of these two. At the moment, the, the two waveforms are symmetrical. So it's 50 50 duty cycle, exactly. I've moved the trigger so that uh, the one cycle is centered on the screen. As I turn this in one direction, one, oh, I'm back, uh, before I do that, I haven't got the enable switch on. So I won't see much happening because the enable switch is wired straight to the enable pin on the driver ICs. Tragged. So as that starts to get asymmetric, it's spending more time in one polarity than the other polarity. Once it gets to a certain point, the motor will start to turn. That is turning, look for me, that is turning anti clockwise looking at the end of the wheel on it. And you see the the less asymmetry there is, the slower it turns, because there's less average voltage difference. Now the motor's a bit sticky at low speeds, so it doesn't kick in straight away. It'll run slower once it started. And the more asymmetry, the more time it's spending in one polarity and less in the other, the faster it runs. As you go through centre, back the other polarity, it's spending more time with the other side high. I don't know how well the audio is working with the noise of the motor running, so not going really fast. But basically, the yellow trace is the left hand driver. So the left hand driver at the moment is spending less time positive than the right hand one. So the right hand output is on average more positive or more time positive. So it's effectively more positive to some extent and the amount depends on the duty cycle, the signal. That was obviously pretty much solid on. Uh, so one was permanent positive, one permanent negative. And the same the other way. So that's the pulse width modulation using a symmetrical waveform, uh, a symmetrical system, and 50% duty cycle. There are other ways of doing it. As I say, you can switch one side permanently high, permanently high or low, and then modulate the other side of the two switches, or the two pairs of transistors if you're using the four transistor bridge with, built with separate devices. That's the essence of, of a full bridge full switch modulation system. Okay.